Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys mixed martial arts techniques, but we're going to talk about defensive tactics, how to block MMA punches. Once you have your hands up like this, you should be always comfortable, right? But you need to be relaxed. If you want to have good reflexes and timing to block incoming strikes to your head and to your body, you have to have a relaxed arm, right? Both of your arms. So shoulders, back, and your eyes are on your opponent, of course. Now, let's start with some basic punches. So in today's video, we're going to talk about MMA punches. So for example, if you had MMA gloves, some of the blocks that I'm going to use are going to be slightly different than if I did it in boxing or Muay Thai for that matter. Now we're going to start with the left jab. So of course, his left straight is coming right down where the chin, that's where he's going to aim. So of course, I don't want to block a punch that's coming beside my ears. That's useless, right? So my hands are here, they're up. One of the common mistakes when people strike they strike and the opponent is going to try to catch like this. I've seen this happen a lot. People practice and they try to catch like this. The problem is in boxing, you have a padded glove and sometimes you can just catch a jab, you know, a flicking jab. But in MMA, I always recommend that you punch for real. You don't just flick your jab out. You have small gloves. Every strike has to count. So you're going to throw a left straight punch instead. So now it's a powerful blow to try to catch. So instead, I'm going to have my hands up like this and I'm going to deflect with my forearm every time he punches to my face to deflect the punch, have it sideways, okay? So as he punches my face, I'm gonna push it here again, push it here. Now, don't push it downwards as he punches like this, because this opens me up. So I wanna make sure my hands are up, and then as I push, my hands are always up even during the execution of my defensive tactic. Now on the right straight, it's the same thing. Here, he punches, and I just deflect. See how I just push with my wrist and my forearm? Here, boom. Okay, my hands are relaxed. I'm not stiff like this. I always want to be relaxed. The only time I'm going to clench my fist is when it's time for me to throw a punch. So if I punch, my hand is going to close and boom, I'm going to make contact. But when I'm blocking, I'm going to try to stay as relaxed as possible. So on his straight, boom, deflect here. On the left, boom. And on the right, boom. And one, two, just boom, boom. Now I'm always ready. Because in MMA, it's not going to be just punches to the face. You're going to have punches to the body, of course. He's going to throw some kicks. And what changes the game is the shots, the takedowns. He's going to try to take me down as well. And of course, if he's a good MMA practitioner, he's well trained, he's going to use his punches, especially to the face, to make me think he's attacking my face and then set up that shot. So I always want to be aware, have my hands up, elbows are low, and be aware of that in my conscious that at any given time when he's attacking my head, I can be shot onto my legs. So I want to always have my hands up for that reason. Now we're going to take a look at the same straight punches, but this time to the stomach, the low punches. So once again, in boxing, once in a while, when he throws a jab to the belly, I'm just going to scoop it like this. This is fine. I'm moving away. But in MMA, it's a different sport. Now, I made a previous video on head movement recently where I showed you guys how to bob and weave and whatnot and slipping left to right. In MMA, that's a different sport than boxing. So if you start to weave too much like this, you're going to walk your face right into a kick or a knee. All right. So I want to make sure that I'm always in a good position. So when he throws the punch to the body, instead of deflecting, I'm just going to parry again with the elbow. So he throws right here, and I'm going to just push it using the bottom part now of my shield, which is my forearm. So here, boom, again, boom. And now my hands are always up. If he throws the cross to the stomach, same thing goes, right? Instead of doing this and opening myself up, as he throws the punch, I'm just deflecting here. So the boom, and then I can fire back at wheel if he comes into range. So this is how I like to deflect punches to the stomach. Now let's talk about hooks. What about hooks, right? So sometimes in boxing or Muay Thai, with a glove, if he throws a hook, for example, to my head, I might cover like this, but look, slow motion. Well, look what happens now. The hook punch is gonna go right through that hole. There's a small gap in this triangle right here, and he's gonna still catch me on the jawline, which is a knockout, because it's still my chin. So what I need to do instead now is if he throws, let's say, bare knuckle or with a light glove, such as a four ounce MMA glove, I'm gonna stop the hook. As I see it coming here, I'm just gonna catch it like this, okay? Same thing with his lead hook. 
I'm just going to block and catch it like this. All right? I'm just going to cup it using the palms of my arms and the shield, which is the forearm. So I'm here and just catch it here and just catch it here. Now, sometimes instead, you want to create some range. All right? So if he throws the hook, I'm just going to step away. All right? So if he throws the hook, I'm just going to step away. And on the lead one, step away and then come back in. Now, of course, because of this video, to stay in the frame, I'm trying to show the technique much closer. But in reality, I'm not fighting my opponent at this distance, where it's the same distance we're going to exchange. I'm going to be a little bit further out like this. This is where I'm going to be fighting. So I'm aware that he has to take a step towards me before he throws a punch. But just for the video, I'm staying a little bit tighter so I can show you guys and staying inside this lens. So once again, on the hook, I'm going to catch here, or on the lead one, catch and block here. Now sometimes I'm going to move out here, or if he comes to the face, move out here. Other times, maybe you're against the fence, right? So I'm against the cage. I can't move out. So now you're going to move in instead. So as I see the punch, I'm going to move in and watch. The other hand here catches. And now I could tie him up, maybe for a clinch, or wrap up his arms. And the same thing on the lead one. I'm going to catch here, and I move in. So that way that I can close the gap and come back in range, maybe spin him around, put him against the fence and whatnot. But these are some of the tactics we're going to use against the hooks. Now, of course, when you're training, put these things together, all right? Have your training partner throw some hooks, all right? Some straight punches to the stomach, to the head. Move around with this, but the most important thing is to always stay relaxed, all right? I can't stress this enough. Is a lot of times when I train students, their hands are like their fists are so tight like this and they're stiff and because of that sole reason they're slower on the reaction time all right so always stay relaxed and the more you practice you're going to be able to read your opponent and see which punch is coming by watching the shoulders and the chest but we'll cover that in a future video so for now guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial on blocking for mma strikes we'll catch you guys in the next video take care